Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and today's video is entitled Septic Tank Replacement. Now, the reason I've made this video is because, as you know, all the rules and regulations changed in the UK on the 1st of January 2020 regarding septic tank laws. And many people up and down the country now think it's mandatory, right? to replace a septic tank, and many people are. But the reason I've made this video is because I, sh I wanna show you, you don't necessarily have to replace your septic tank. And if you do have to go down that route, then I wanna show you some very cost-effective and legal solutions, which could save you thousands and thousands of pounds. So let me start off with why you need or would have to replace your septic tank. Well, the law basically states that there's certain reasons now right, given as to why you would replace your septic tank. So let me show you those. Right, number one, it could be that your septic tank is old. Just because it's old doesn't mean that you have to replace your septic tank, by the way. But with old age come certain symptoms. So for example, your septic tank could be tired and worn. All right, that's, that's one reason. And so with that, it gets into a state of uh, dis, disrepair. So let's say it was made from, um, I'm not even sure that's the right spelling, but you get the point, right? Um, let's say it was made from bricks and mortar. Maybe the mortar started to you know, fall out and the bricks are starting to fall down and it's starting to collapse. Well, that would be a good reason to replace your septic tank. Other reasons, right? Maybe it smells. You know, whenever you, no matter what you do, no matter how much disinfectant and bleach you put down the loose or put down the septic tank, it just smells, right? So that's a, a good indication that your septic tank is leaking, right? Either leaking into the soil um, that's around the septic tank, or maybe it's bubbling up to the surface, you know, so on the grass, the soggy patches of water above the septic tank or the soak away. These are other reasons to replace your septic tank. Another reason is that it's too close to a water course. Now this is one of the main reasons why people have to replace or consider replacing their septic tank because now if you're within 15 meters, which is about 45, 50 foot, if you're 50 foot or nearer to a water course, you now have to replace or upgrade your old septic tank. So those are some typical reasons why you'd have to replace your septic tank. Now, the next question you need to ask is, if I'm gonna replace my septic tank, what are my options? Well, option one is to completely replace your old septic tank and soak away with a new one. So if we put here, replace, with new septic tank and soak away. So this is a popular route that many, many people go down, right? And typically, if you get three firms in, which I would recommend, by the way, to get three quotes, then you can, you know, obviously go with not just the cheapest quote, but the firm that you feel you've got confidence in carrying the job out to your satisfaction. But, so, but typically, option one will cost you anywhere from, say, eight to 12,000 pounds. All right, so that's option one. Option two, let's say you live near a water course, you know, this, you, you know your sewage system was located near a water course, or you wanted to go for a posher system, that system is called a sewage treatment plant. Right. In fact, it's called a domestic sewage treatment plant, okay? And so basically the difference between that and a septic tank is um, all the poo in the wee goes into it and it bubbles and churns around and does all kinds of stuff and the discharge is a lot cleaner, right? So you can put it straight into a river, a stream or a water course, right? Whereas a septic tank, raw sewage comes out, raw sewage goes into the soakway and as it soaks away through the soil, it's treated. So a domestic sewage treatment plant treats the sewage for you, 
All right, so typically if you've got three firms in for a domestic sewage treatment plant, they would charge you anywhere from 10 <clears throat> to 15,000 pounds. Now, so those are option one and option two, and they're very good options. And many people go down that route, right? Of either going for option one or option two, but there is a third option that you may not have considered that many septic tank um, installation firms won't recommend to you because they can't make a lot of money out of installing them. So what is that? Well, that's option three. Now option three is called a septic tank converter. So you've got some amazing uh, pictures here. That's, that's how skillful I am at artistry. But nevertheless, look, let me show you, right? This is a septic tank. That's a soak away. And that's a septic tank converter. So what happens is, right, this is your old septic tank here. It's maybe old, maybe smelling a bit, whatever. Well, your septic tank fills up with water. You put this little government black box in, which is called a septic tank converter. Everything goes into there. It's converted into safe, clean, natural, organic mineral water. And then that liquid can go straight into your soak away. And so these little black boxes right they give you a certificate called an en12566-3 so that's what's required if you want to make your septic tank legal so let's say you've got a septic tank it was put in before 1995 or 1983 and you want to make it legal instantly then you put a little black box in it gives you uh, a certificate which I've just said to you which is called the EN12566-3 that's basically the certification all septic tanks and treatment plants now have to have so in that respect you don't have to replace your old septic tank and soak away because you just put it in between the two they're non-electric they're really easy to install they take about two hours to put in something like that and the beauty of it is they're about £12,000 cheaper than option one and option two. So a septic tank converter, right, will typically cost you about 2999 plus the VAT all in. And so that's why I said at the beginning of this video, please, 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 before you consider replacing your septic tank, consider all the options. So you've got option one, put a new septic tank and soak away in or get someone to do it. As I said, that costs you eight to 12 grand if you pay a firm to do it to uh, fit and supply. Option two, you can go for a, a fandangled treatment plant. Again, get a, a, a company to supply and, and, and install it. That will cost you 10 to 15 grand. Or you can go for option three and get yourself a septic tank converter, which a builder or you could put in. You've just got to dig a hole in between the septic tank and so on and just put the pipes in and out. It really is as simple as that. So there you go. I hope that's helped you. That's um, what I would do if I had an old septic tank and soak away. I'd put a converter in. And so there you go. I hope that helps you. I hope that saves you some money. And um, if you'd like more free help and advice, then I've got loads more videos on septictank.co.uk. Or you can go onto Google and type in septic tank TV. It'll bring up my YouTube channel. And there you'll see thousands of videos I've done to help people and give them free advice. And if, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you're in with a chance to win a free septic tank converter. So listen, thank you very much for watching. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.